Take Heart, Daily Devotions to Deepen Your Faith. February 29th. Again he entered the synagogue, and a man was there with a withered hand. And they watched Jesus to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath, so they might accuse him. And he said to the man with the withered hand, Come here. And he said to them, Is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to kill? But they were silent, and he looked around at them with anger, grieved at their hardness of heart, and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. Mark chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. <clears throat> it is possible to say, that's wrong, and yet express our displeasure in ways that prove truly constructive, actually loving, even beautiful. Jesus saw wrong, called it wrong, and called out wrongdoers. Here is how he describes his purpose. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. John chapter 3 verse 17. Let's give this good anger a name, the constructive displeasure of mercy. Each of those three words matter. Good anger operates as one aspect of mercy. It brings good into bad situations. It stands up for the helpless and victimized. It calls out wrongdoers, but holds out promises of forgiveness, inviting wrongdoers to new life. Your anger and mine can be remade into God's image. Strong mercy is the DNA of the entire Bible. Clear-minded mercy is the DNA of redemption. Jesus gathers up our angers not to neuter or s our sensitivity to evil, but to redeem how we respond. Strong, clear-minded mercy is the way we are meant to transmute feeling disturbed, uncomfortable, and bothered by what is. And by definition, mercy is consistently constructive. Mercy intervenes to address and solve whatever problem is in view. Jesus embodies this constructive display of mercy. It is a rich, complex way of responding to life.